Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Eunice Nyekweme, living at number 72, Abiokuta Street, Barega. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank the God of chosen how he delivered me from my vision last time towards, uh, towards uh, 18, 19. So after that, 20, 20, 20, 21, 22, 20, 23, God has been helping me for go to money crime every day by day, preaching the boss, soldier, praise the Lord. So this thing continue towards 2023 20, last year. I discovered late 2023. I discovered that I, I couldn't not I could not continue that money crime. And I said dream I have before then. In that dream, there was a man kind of confronting me in that dream. After that dream, it's like I went cold. But I want to thank the God of choosing. Who is a geo? I think last month he was preaching about the move of God. God break that yoke again in my life. Choosing, praise the Lord. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. And I started going to my money crime because that time I stopped. I wasn't happy at all. Sometimes if I wake up, I will say, God, forgive me. I did not go money crime today. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But I want to thank God of choosing who I use as you to restore it back again, even this year. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I preach, I go to money crime, I preach, and inside the bus, I preach. With the hand with me, I will share the hand Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My second testimony goes like this. Last, last uh, Thursday, it happened that last month, I don't say, I don't see my period at all. And I have. Thank you, God of choosing. So I just want to thank the God of choosing. He never fail our Jew. He always answers his prayer towards us. The best thing that ever happened to me is to be a choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to give the God of Jesus all the glory. I want to return all glory to God Almighty. For your goodness and kindness upon my, upon my family. I say may his name alone be highly exalted forever in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for the Geo. Heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray the sickness of the old age will never say what the Geo in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus and I pray. Choosing worldwide, heaven at last. Me and my family, heaven at last. And I soak my testimony with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. He answers prayers. So just last week, Thursday, Pastor mentioned the case. And the sixth period that lasted for one month, immediately Pastor mentioned the case on Thursday, Friday. God of choosing restored it immediately. God of choosing answers prayer. Let's clap unto him. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The next testifier. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, my name is Ifanye Madabuchi. I want to thank God of choosing what I have done for me. First of all, I know that God of choosing is so great. God of choosing is so powerful. It's so great. One of the days on Thursday, counseling and deliverance, my pastor mentioned my case. Because of a lot of battle, in my family, they gang up, they set their motion against me. I just they laugh. And on that Thursday, Pastor said, There is a young man here. They gang up against you. They don't know who you are that you are a choosing. He said, In the name of Jesus, I scatter them. All those battles that go on, all of them subside. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. 
The second one, there is another Thursday. Say there is somebody here. They have already cooked your leg in a witchcraft cove. They say, I command that your leg, your flesh to come back for your leg. In the name of Jesus, I scatter the pot of the witchcraft. My pen have already pained me almost three months. I know they wear shoe because of all those things. But immediately, Pastor mentioned it. Everything stopped. Thank you, now. God of choosing. Thank you, Father. So, I appreciate God of choosing for what I have done for me. I have already taken over the matter. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, the Almighty God. Thank you, Father. The God of my pastor, I appreciate your power. May your name be praised forever in Jesus' name. You mean there was pain on your leg? Yes. I know they wear shoe now. For three months. Yes, but now they wear shoe. Oh, thank you, God of choosing. Let's appreciate the Lord by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. So, for our daddy in the Lord and his family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. For the choosing one, I myself and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. You are blessed. Thank you, God of choosing. Let's clap unto the Lord. Let's appreciate him by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Don't know the case you came with. Don't know where, they, where it is coming from. The pastor mentioned his case and said they have put your leg in the coven and they are cooked. So I scatter it. For three months, he couldn't wear shoes. You can see him today. The pain is gone. And now he's putting on shoes. I don't know your case. As a pastor prays for you today, I'm assuring you that case shall be settled. Clap unto this God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. The next testifier. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The God of choosing is so great. He's so great. The God of choosing is so great. He's so great. The God of choosing is so great. He's so great. I am here to return the glory of God unto his name in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Sister Caroline Okwebunam. I joined choosing 2006. My testimony goes like this. It was on Thursday here. When my daddy mounted the pulpit, he said, an individual that you are here, the battle you are passing through for years, the pursuer, the strong pursuer of your life and family, it may be your uncle, it may be your aunt, it may be your mother or your father, but today will be the end of that pursuer. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I claim that ministration because I've been passing through terrible battles since. When I got home on Thursday after the ministration, in the, in the ministration of our daddy, he said, you are going to have revelation. And he said, many people are attached to this word that he said now that we are going to have revelations in the night. When I got home, I slept. Reaching on Friday early morning, I had a revelation. In that revelation, an angel of God carried me in a helicopter and was going to my village, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we got to the Marquess, market square of my village, there was a woman carrying a bag and the angel asked me to look down. When I looked down, I saw the woman. The woman was very huge. The angel threw the ladder of the helicopter and asked me to climb down and get me that woman. So I used that ladder of the helicopter. I climbed down. I went and met the woman. The woman covered her face with a mask. I pull off the mask. It, behold, it was one of my auntie. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was surprised because that woman, I didn't know her as a bad person. As I was looking at her with surprise me, the angel asked me to hurry up and come up. My brother, my sister, I don't know where strength came upon me. I started beating this woman. Hmm. I beat her to coma. And she was shouting she will die. I told her it's better you die. 
Then I carry that bag. I open it. All the things in that bag was my belonging. Hmm. I pour it on her. I say, it's better you died. Then the angel gave me sign. I went and climbed the ladder and went back into the helicopter. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then we zoomed off. Then we zoomed off. The helicopter carried me to a church. What I saw in that signboard of the church was Araba choosing church. Okay. The helicopter dropped me there and I went into the church and started rejoicing. Brethren that are there rejoicing. When I threw that, when I wake up, it was four o'clock dot in the morning and I prepared to go out for morning crowd. When I was preparing, a voice came and said, you will hear news. This morning by six or seven this morning, you will hear news. I looked, nobody was there. It was in my room. My children were sleeping. The voice came again for the second time and said, Sister, you will hear news this morning. Six or seven o'clock, you will hear news. I said, okay. I went out for morning cry. Coming back from morning cry, I had 14 missed calls. Then the last caller, I have to call the last person that called. As I just flashed the last person, the person called me back. It was my sister. She said, Carol, do you hear what happened? I said, what happened? He said, see, it's Auntie, oh, Auntie just died this morning. I said, choose him, praise the Lord. And she was crying. I, I told her, you are crying. Do you know what God did for you? And you are crying. Wipe off your tears. She said, what? I told her the revelation. She wiped off her tears and said, how can, how can it be? I told her, if it is not me that God used to go and fight this battle, I will not believe as you are saying but God of choosing have taken away that strong pursuer of our life and family. That person that said that we will not live and be what God said we will be. God of choosing did it for me. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is why I'm here this morning to return all the glory, all the honor, thanks and adoration unto this God who fought this battle that I did not know and gave me victory. I said, may his name alone be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray Clap for my... to God or choose him. Let's appreciate him. I'd like you to know that the word of knowledge, as it was said, is that many people are connected to this word of knowledge. Yes. But the person in question will receive a revelation. So you can see Hannah, she received the revelation. So she was the person in question that pastor was talking about. So let's clap onto the God of choosing. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. I pray for my daddy. Daddy, heaven at last. Amen. For you and your entire family. I pray for you, choosing bread and sitting here. Remain on your seats. God will visit you Amen. as he has visited me. And your, and your testimony will come to you. The day you sit here as I sit, and God will visit you, and all of us will make heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Maybe you're just joining us in fellowship and you have testimonies. We will have a slot for you, so go quickly to my left hand side. Me with the testimony interviewers. The opportunity will be given to you to testify of what God the choosing has done in your life. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing people praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Ruth. I joined you in 2008. I was shipping at uh, Oshodu. Shogule bus stop, that's where. Shogule branch, that's where I'm worshiping. I'm here to testify how God has chosen to deliver me from evil spiritual husband over 40 years. Hey. 40 years spiritual husband. Yes. God has chosen delivered you. Yes. Let's hear you. Clap unto God has chosen. Thank you, Father. Choosing, praise the Lord. Guys, I came here three Thursday ago. So our daddy mentioned the case. He said there's a woman here. There's a stubborn spiritual husband that's tormenting you for over the years. He said, but today is the end of that, that spiritual husband. 
I don't even know that it's me. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So after the church, we go. In that very day, I encountered in the dream. I saw a man, I saw a man driving the motor. He carried me at the, at, at the motor with one woman. And he was moving directly to the ocean, big ocean. And people were telling him, say, oh God, there is no road there. He doesn't mind them. He was moving with speed. I tell Oga, where you are going? There's no road. He was moving with speed. As he was going, I said, okay, if God, if God said that today is my last day, let it be, let it be. I don't know that the angel of my pastor has crossed him and we saw and stopped him at the, at the head. So yeah, stop that, stop that motor. That's how he stopped the man and said, carry the woman back. That's how the angel of my pastor stopped him with the long saw. Immediately the man looked up, looked down, he don't know what to do. He opened the door and he jumped into the sea and left me and the other woman there. Choosing praise the Lord. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's how I look. Look, my spirit tell me, say, open the door and go back. That's how I just opened the minute I opened the door, dry land appeared and I went back. That's how I was saved. Before. In the dream, I will be naked, messing up. Nothing goes, goes for me at all, at all. But now, right from the dream, now I will be wearing apron with better clothes and everything. Merely mm -hmm. see me with apron, they will be run away. Thank choosing, praise the Lord. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. So, my dear brothers and sisters, I don't know how many years I've been spending here. God of choosing is real. God of choosing is a God that can deliver you. In short, even especially this, our apron is a, another weapon that God is using in our life. Because immediately, if this uh, spiritual husband see me with apron now, he will pick grace. Mm. He will pick grace. He will not stand. So I'm here thanking this God for delivering me for what I have suffered in the hand of this evil man. Mm. It's a terrible one. May he, in the name of Almighty God we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And if our daddy, whom the Lord is using to deliver us from this evil time, may God help him anywhere that he's going. Almighty God will be with him in Jesus' name. Amen. God will make him to make heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. And for the choosing worldwide, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Me and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. Let's clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Wow, what a terrible torment it must have been. Forty years, torment of spirit husband. But God of choosing has given the husband the wicked spirit technical knockout. I don't know how many years you have been in torment, but I'm assuring you today, a pastor's prayer will change the situation. The God of choosing will intervene, and you will testify. Let's clap unto God of choosing. I appreciate the Lord by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Moderator, please permit me to sing a song. Please, you are permitted. Choosing I will be forever and evermore. Choosing me and you will be forever and evermore choosing i will be forever and evermore choosing i will be forever and evermore choosing praise the lord hallelujah brethren i want to thank god of choosing for delivering me from the arrow of the enemy as i travel on april for burial it happened that I travel on April. Can you start with your name? Okay, my name is Soka for Chizowam. I joined Chizin 2005. I reside in Agor, number 12 Femi Ajide. So, as I travel for the barrier, after the barrier, the, my community said that they are doing prayers, uh, home and abroad, that everybody should come out. So, I joined them the first day. So, as I went there, the person they called, he was a reverend father, but they said that he has power. So as they were doing the prayers, I was sitting by the side. So I was listening to this man, hoping to hear something that would make me happy or whatever. But what I'm hearing from him is just saying how he used to use liver and do sham and carry masquerade before he become a reverend father. 
Aki youth. So I continue listening. This man continue saying all these things. At the time, I lose focus. And I open my phone, open our choosing uh, YouTube. I started watching, uh, watching uh, the Battle of the Great Warrior. So I watched like up to one hour. Somebody called me that I have visitors at home. I left them. So the second day, the same thing happened. This man continued with that topic of yesterday. I removed my mind entirely. I now join, uh, w start watching the Judgment Day. So after the thing, at the time, he now called the uh, altar call. Because the place they were doing the prayer, he just uh, masqueraded the hall of the uh, community. He now called the uh, altar call, according to him. So I look at the place that I will go as altar call. They just put a statue of a mobile water that was carrying the pot and the snake. I said, I will not, my leg will not touch that place. So all the whole community, everybody went to, to that altar call. I was the only person that was sitting behind. And all the whole days in that village, I never crossed my gate without April. So well, after the first one, they, we are coming back. They notice that I'm the only person that sit back, that not join them. So he called for the second one. I said that everybody should put their hand on the ground and they command anybody that is holding them in that village to die. I did not join them again. I was sitting, I was watching the, the Judgment Day prayers. So after the whole everything, everybody went home. Even when he was came, uh, coming back, the Reverend Father looked at me somehow. I removed his eyes as he noticed that uh, I'm not concentrating on that prayers. So in the night, I slept. So in my dream, I saw where they, they tied their enemy on top of plank with white. They tie my hand and tie my leg. The rope go throughout all my body. And I saw another of my body standing afar with white. So then my body was looking at my body on the one that is on top of the stick. So the mask we read gather in that place. Before you know it, I hear the same battle of the great warrior deliverance I was watching on that uh, yesterday old. It was coming from up and conducting deliverance on me. The whole rope now start losing. All the whole rope start losing. Then my body that was standing afar now move and come and enter my body back. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. So as the thing entered my body back, and I re stretched my leg and come down from that, uh, that plank, that place that tied me. Immediately my leg touched the ground. I woke up from dream. As I woke up, I, I, I shouted Jesus. Even when I shouted Jesus, I could not remember myself that I'm in the village. It took me up to five minutes before I remember that I'm, I'm in the village and why I came to village. My heart was bouncing fast, 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 fast. I said, Jesus. Had it been, I didn't mean that my, my heart had left my body, that I go so far. Because before I remember that I'm in the village and why I came to the village, it took me some minutes. Hmm. And now move out from my room with anger. Move to my children's parlor upstairs. I was praying with anger. I was praying and praying. And before I moved, one spirit was telling me, do fast and leave this village. But as I was praying in that parlor, one spirit said, are you the one to fear them or they are the one to fear you? I said, I will not go. I will go the day I want to go. So after that day, the boldness came back to me again. I don't fear anybody again or whatever. If I'm going to market to buy something or going anywhere, I must go with my apron. Some people will see me on the run and say, wow. So you mean this choosing? I said, I mean, I'm all, without this God and this choosing, <laughs> I would have been a forgotten soul. And you, you say, thank God, because I'm seeing what God is doing in your family, though. I said that is the God of chosen. So I didn't thank God because it was a great battle. They want to kill me at all costs, but this God delivered me. <laughs> chosen, praise the Lord. So I thank God because they have dig so many graves for me since I joined chosen. But they will leave that grave. This God of choosing will come and cover it and make me to be alive. So I really thank God of choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord.
praise the Lord. I had a testimony and I was moved to make correction. If you are a chosen and you are born again, you must not join any community or village deliverance or any place that have anything like that. Because most of those people that are delivering them are possessed. They are not Christian. They are not born again. Why must a believer go there? You must not go there. If you go there, they will initiate you. Because you have broken the hedge. And God will keep quiet. If you did in any way agree to go to that altar, you are finished. So next time a choosing person must never, must never, you will tell them you are not going to be there. You are born again, you are Christian, and the, let them know the person. Whoever they invite you, you don't know the, the foundation and you cannot be there. And how dare you a choosing the way Reverend Father is conducting deliverance? Or a Catholic uh, person conduct, what has he got to give you? Is he born again? Another point is you have been told that nobody is qualified to pray for a chosen person. Nobody. I wasn't the person that told you. You had it from ministers of God and also those who call themselves prophets. You have the grace of God upon you. You have the power of God upon you. You have foundation, you are born again. The Bible says, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. So you must, I am not talking to sister alone, but I'm talking to choosing members, all of you. Whenever they call for something like that, don't go there. Otherwise, you'll be initiated and you'll be gone. And if you're initiated to deliver you, will be very, very, it will be very hard. So don't make that mistake that many people have made it and are gone. They must leave it. I'm going to live anyhow. I'm going to live in sin and then die in that condition and go to hell. I pray that none of you shall be involved in such thing anymore in Jesus' name. Please, I want to persuade you. Whenever you see these people in the market, in the village, they say they are conducting deliverance. Everybody will come. Everybody must come. Don't go. Are you hearing me? No matter whoever. You are Christian, you are born again, you are a child of God. What are you going there for? So don't go there and... I repeat, don't go there for, your, for the sake of your soul. You can see, it was already bound. If not that God led him to put the cassette on this church that made her to be loosed, that would have been a terrible thing. May God bless you. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry, my beloved brethren. Even when I was praying, the Spirit of God ministered to me that 
I did a great mistake for attending that uh, uh, their whatever that I'm not supposed to go there and I ask God for mercy over it choosing praise the Lord hallelujah my second testimony I want to thank God of choosing how he granted my daughter two years multiple visa after her uh, master's degree thank you God of choosing thank you father the third one I want to thank God of choosing how he helped my son to finish his housework uh, 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 medicine in, in uh, Abuja Teaching Hospital. So you are about to serve his, uh, do his youth service. I thank God of choosing for that. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. So the fourth one, I want to thank God of choosing. This testimony, I'm sorry for delaying it. I don't know what happened that I forgot it. It happened in uh, 2009. The topic of that day was uh, casting your net on the right side. It happened that I'm coming to church. So my husband called me on phone to meet him in one bus stop. So after answering the call, I now put my phone uh, in my bag. I don't know that the phone did not enter my bag. The thing now fell off. So as I reached church, after praying, I want to uh, bring out my Bible. I noticed that my phone, is, the second phone is not inside my bag. So I used the one in the bag and called the line. Someone pick it. I say, please, that how manage? He said that he picked the phone. It's also bust stop. I say, please, it's my phone. That I use the answer call. I don't know that it, the, uh, I did not put it inside my bag. That it fell off. That you should please, I'm in the church. When church closed, that I will call him. So he will tell me where he is. I, come, I will come and come and pick it. He say, no problem. So when church closed, I call this line. He refused to pick. Call the second one, no picking. Third one, no picking. Or the third one, off the phone. So I keep on calling till evening time. The phone is switched off. I called in the night again, the same thing. So I now carry the charger of that phone. And tie with, I use apron and tie the charger of that phone. After praying, and I am open one drawer, put the apron and the charger in that place. Close it. I say I will not touch it. So in the morning or on Friday, I prayed over it, called the number, switched off. Saturday again, the same thing. Until in the night of that Saturday, that line now called my phone. And before I, before I stop calling that line, I send, I am a choosing. I am a choosing. I am a choosing. You hand that is holding this phone, who are you? Where is the God of my pastor power? Let the hand that is holding this phone be burning with fire until you return this phone back to me. And um, I said it three times. So that Saturday night, the number now called my line. Flash it and caught. So I rush and tell my husband that that line called my number. He said I should call the person back. So I called the, the number. He said, eh, sister, where are you? No, he said, madam, please, where are you? So I can return your phone. Let me have peace of mind. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. So I now laugh. I say, which one is peace of mind? Maybe I told you where I am. He, he decided not to bring my phone. Okay. I mean, I go. If you want to bring the phone, I mean, I go. He said, please, will you be around tomorrow morning? Let me bring the phone. I said, I'm going to church. If you can make it in the afternoon. Uh, that I don't like going to church late. He said, please, that you come very early. That you come very early. I say, okay. Make sure you come before seven. He hmm. said, okay, that you come before that time. So after, when I woke up in the morning, after cooking, I was dressing to come to church. He now called me. I said, where are you? I said, I'm, I'm, I'm about to come out. You too, where are you? He said, on the way coming. I said, okay, be fast. So I reached my bus stop. I was standing. I called him. I said, please, this is after seven. Come, I beg. I want to go to church. I will leave you and go. He said, please, don't go. Don't go. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey. So I hear him ask somebody, which bus stop is this bus stop? The person now says, it's a God bridge. I said, okay, why well, are you coming? I'm, you are close. So he now drove. I noticed that Okada passed me. When the Okada was coming, my spirit told me that they the one. So they now pack and call my number. I say, I have seen you before you, uh, you see me. Turn back, you see somebody that's standing with an uh, apron. He now pack, they pack and start coming to me. So immediately he come, he now removed the phone from his pocket and handed over to me. I say, Madam, please, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I don't know what happened. Please forgive me. You can see I have deleted everything in your, your phone. Mm. All the pictures, all the contacts, I have deleted them. That they took the phone to Alaba International on that Saturday. They, uh, they have concluded the price. Immediately you collect the money from the man. 
that it just be as if they pour fire all over his body. Fire mm. started burning him. Mm. So he now refund the man the money back. The boy that followed him, his compound person, that two of them went to sell the phone. The man was telling him, oh boy, what thing they do? You collect this money, maybe we'll come out here. He said, you will not understand what I'm passing through here now. Mm. That you will not sell this phone. That even two of them quarreled from Alaba International to the rich uh, Westminster. So that he's so sorry. He was even kneeling down for me. I said, no, no, don't kneel down. Get up, get up. Uh, no problem. I now collected my phone. So mm. I handed him some money. He said that uh, he should use it for transport. At least coming and going back. He said, please, I should forgive him. I said, no, no problem. Uh, I have forgiven him already. So Let's one... clap on to this God of choosing. He's a mysterious God. Thank you, Father. So the person had concluded to sell the phone. He was already yes, they have, collected money. Yes, they have wiped everything in that phone off. Mm. Everything in my phone, they deleted everything. So he said, but immediately he collected the money. Fire started burning his body. He's not himself mm. again. Mm. That is how he now returned the money back. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. So I want to thank this God of choosing for his mercies and blessing upon my family. Even the last of my testimonies, by this time, 2006, that is the first miracle I received in choosing. When a, a Yoruba woman afflicted me with poison, Isuru Alaba, with spiritual snake, the thing will be moving in my body as snake to enter my head, enter my stomach, all my body. Mm. But I came Thursday to enemy submitted. Our Jew pray. I fall under anointing dead. The snake left my body. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. So when the woman noticed that in the morning I came to market, she came and be monitoring me in my line. She would stand somewhere and be peeping me. When she saw that I'm moving around, she's not happy. She now went back. So in the night, she came to me in the dream to attack me. So we are fighting. And now for her, she was begging that she don't know that I'm a choosing, that I should please forgive her. And now I left her. The next day, she came to my shop. She was standing near to my shop. She was looking at me with bad eye. So I don't know that she went to her fight again. She now released something from her eyes. The thing hit me on my forehead. So when the thing hit me on my forehead, it just be as if uh, I'm carrying 10 story building. Mm. So the next Thursday I came uh, for prayer. After the deliverance, the thing now left my head. In the dream on that Thursday, I was pass my geo was passing here. I was kneeling in this pulpit. At the time, my geo now turned back and came to me where I was kneeling down and placed hand or, uh, his finger on the forehead. He said, they projected something in your head. I command that thing to come out in Jesus' name. So one of my nose now expand. Very big B. Igbo people used to call it Tango. But this one was very heavy. It now fell out from my nose. That is how I got my deliverance. Thank and that, you, Father. And that woman slept. She did not wake up. That is mm. how she died. Yay. Let's appreciate the God of choosing for perfect victory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I thank this God of choosing for what he has done for me and my family since I joined choosing. I'm the first person in my community that has a medical... I'm the, the first medical doctor in my community is from my family. I'm, I'm the mother of the child. So I have every joy to glorify this God. Hmm. Then my daughter is the first youth in that community to travel outside for masters. So I thank God for what he has been doing for me and my family. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. And God still used my husband to bring the yoke off as the first person that built upstairs in that village. Anybody hey. that planned it, we stop halfway. But God used my husband to break the yoke. So mm. I thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. And all these things happened after you came to choosing. Yes, after we, we came here with nothing. My husband lost everything when he, we joined choosing. After his mother's burial, he lost everything. He's, this is a 40 feet container, four times. We mm. came in the sweep warehouse, nothing remained. We enter here with nothing. But this God restore more than even we have before. Mm. So I really praise God of choosing. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. I thank you. 
It's not by our power, our righteousness. It pleases him. Mm. I say, this God who has done all this for me and my family, receive all the glory, all the praises, all the adoration, all the thanksgiving. Now, forevermore, in Jesus' name. Amen. All my family owing you is to worship you on the last day of our life, in Jesus' name. Amen. And for my G.O., whom God have used to put this joy in my family. I pray that this God who started with you will continue to be with you and your family and end with you with your marvelous crown in the name of Jesus. Amen. As this great uh, crusade is coming ahead, I pray that the God of choosing will make you a fire to all the altars and kingdoms of darkness that will rise to attack this crusade. God of choosing will make you and your family a fire to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything about this crusade will be to the glory of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I pray for all the choosing in the whole world, me and my family, my Jew and the family, heaven at last in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover my testimony with precious blood of Jesus. Blood of Thank Jesus. you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. The next testifier. Choosing praise. The Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, uh, can I render a short song? Yes, you can. Kele, kele, ya, kele, ya. Aya, bi, unaya, kele, ya. Jesus onis you do kele ya Oro mo ya na ya kele Kele nu kele nu ya o kele ya Aya be ona ya e kele ya Jesus onis you do kele ya Oro mo ya na ya kele Kele nu God of choosing, Kele ya. Aya be una ya, Kele ya o. Jesus uni sudo, Kele ya. Aoro mo ya na ya, Kele ya. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Ifan Ichuku Aguru. I want to thank the Lord God of choosing for his special love and his mercy upon my life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for restoring me back to my father's house. Thank you, choosing, God praise of choosing. The Lord. Thank you, Father. I'd like us to clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I used to be one of the chorus leaders in this place. So many of you know Brother Fan Ichuku. But there is a particular battle that has been going on. The devil vowed that I will not use my voice and sing to this God of choosing. And at a time, he will project a particular spirit and that spirit is a spirit of confusion and I, I can come to a junction that when the spirit comes I will be confused I don't know what next to do mm -hmm. so and because of that I left the church praise the Lord I left the church and I'll be walking about walking about going this, just no destination just oh. walking up and down but all the while the God of choosing has been following me up in the dream Telling me you have deposit, you have you have stamped, you have stamped your voice here. You are not going anywhere with it. So I want to finally thank God that I left, and by the special mercy of God, I am back to my father's house. Thank you, Father. I'd like us to clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing is a place to be. Mm. In fact, I love my daddy so much. You would think that all the prayers you are praying is in vain. Praying for the people that left the church, praying for backsliders to be restored is a very big prayer. Mm. Because if choosing is not praying, backsliders will not be coming back. If our daddy is not praying 
for all his children. Daddy knows all his children. He's telling God anywhere they are, Father, bring them back. Mm. And I'm one of the children of my daddy. I am here today to say the God of choosing. I am back. I'm going to use my voice to sing to you. I'm going to worship you. I'm going to praise you all the days of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for my daddy. Before I pray for him, let me just sing one song. Yes, <laughs> God of choosing, I'm a man on ya. I'm a man on ya. Chineke, I'm a man on ya. Be you a lesser than you can see. Is any maquan in oya? Mbuana, Kayo, no, 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 Ndana kono wa, ndana kono wegego. Yezi, anye mani na bia chineke, anye mani na bia. Ndine wegi unye, ndine wegi dino wa. Anye makwani na bia chineke, anye mani na bia. Yezi bubi, anye mani no ya. Chukwama, anye mani no ya. Amamne no ya, chineke, amamne. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank I will use my God voice and praise the God of choosing. I will use my voice and worship this God. Praise the Lord, God of choosing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for my daddy. May this God of choosing uphold him to the end. Amen. Our daddy will live long and long and long and fulfill his ministry in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that any stumbling block that the enemy have set for him, those stumbling blocks are destroyed today in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that whatever that makes him to be sad, whatever that makes my daddy to always be looking unto God and say, God, where are you? May God intervene in his secret prayers in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 